So Mac Media Player, the repository has been created here into Magnificent X solution, Mac Media Player, repos, files, and this is the Mac Media Player. So now to start development on this Mac Media Player, we need to clone this repository into the local system. So start with this local system. Here is the option you can see this clone. And in the command line, you can copy this a path from the remote repository or directly if you wanted to clone it using the ID integrated development environment into the Visual Studio or the VS Code. So there are multiple options set here. So as we are going to use it Visual Studio, you can click on the Visual Studio. It will show to open for the Visual Studio to, to select it from here. So you can just click on it. So it started opening the Microsoft Visual Studio. Start cloning your repositories. From here, you can close the repository or you can start with the start without the code and clone the repository. Now to clone this repository onto my local system, I'll be creating a fo empty folder that needs to be there in my local system to clone this Mac Media Player. So I'll say Mac Media Player Project. So here is my a folder structure which is created for the development of the projects. Here I'll create new folder as Mac Media player project so this is the mac media player project i have created here and the same path i'll be utilizing for cloning this repository as a new project repository so i'm i'm using this option into the file and so this report is in location for this local it is in the d drive and the azure projects are the mac media player project and for repository location which is in the remote so i'm using this option and here is the symbol to copy the clone URL to the clipboard. So I'm copying this one, pasting into this repository location. So once I fill in these both options as a repository location and the path, it is showing me to the clone option. Click on the clone. So now it's connecting and cloning this Mac Media Player. And now it is asking me for a grid credential manager. I can provide my credentials here. I'm signing this with my credentials. So it has been uh, configured and now it is asking me, it is giving me a small warning to configure your username and email address before committing to and it will show username. So you can put it your username. Click on the save.